Hello, this is another tutorial. So first create an empty game object and position it in the door. Also add a box collider on the game object and turn on is trigger. Now do the same thing on the other side, which is going to be the inside of the house. Next, create a script I named it door script. First, on the script add a function called on trigger enter 2D. Then we need to check if the player enters the collider. Now create a boolean called player detected. At the start it's false. And true on the on trigger enter. Inside the if statement, check if the player presses a key. You can use any key you want. Then if the key is pressed then the player's position needs to change. So we need to manually assign that position. Create a transform variable I name it POS to go. Then we need the player game object so that we can change its position. We can get the player game object on the on trigger enter 2D. Now that we have all we needed, after pressing the R key the player's position should be equal to POS to go variable. Also player detected should be equals to false. Then make another function called on trigger exit 2D. And set player detected to false. Select bot door POS and assign the script that we just made. Now first select the door POS outside the house, assign the door POS inside as the POS to go. Since we want the player position to change from outside to inside. The door POS inside assign the door POS from the outside. Next, we are adding a simple UI to show that we can use the door. Open the door script again and create a game object variable that will name its key text. We will enable key text when, the player is inside the door POS collider. Here is another example which is a 2D top-down game, I'm using the same script.
You can also use this for portals or anything that needs position changes. That is all for this tutorial, thank you for watching.